what drove me to paint? It was like breathing. You know, it's hard not to. It's the first institutional solo show that she's ever had at the age of 98. I mean, a career of almost 80 years of, of painting, uh, of many different identities. It's extraordinary that she had so many different lives. I mean, there are very few people on the planet who can still tell us about the entire 20th century. It's a kind of diary, actually. But as you get older, you realize it's a story. It's a story of your life. It's extraordinary that she had so many different lives. I mean, she began, of course, in, when she came in the 20s to New York City from Venezuela. Then she and uh, Palin, the Austrian surrealist, went to Mexico. She became part of that surrealist circle. Met also Frida Kahlo, Leonora Carrington was a friend. So you can say there was a surrealist moment in the practice. She then moved to Los Angeles. That opened up a whole other chapter. We're all voluptuous. The fruit we eat, the life we live, having children, the happiest of families. The themes in my work go way back. The pleasures of life, times of stress, uh, it's all together. And you try to show what you're feeling about it and communicate, because that's what we're doing, really. We're sharing. And I think we're here to learn patience, and to have these great experiences. She has this uh, global experience, uh, not just as a, as a human uh, with her own life, but also as an artist who has come into contact with many, many other artists and has maintained a practice um, that has been largely private. And there's something sort of fascinating about an artist who has pursued a set of ideas without being a part of the machine that then brings art to the public. I went to a girls' school in New York, uh, and uh, I never told my mother that I was taking art. She thought I was taking dressmaking. I loved to sew, but I thought that was a waste of time. And I, I didn't tell her, and she only knew it when I graduated, and she was distressed. You mean all these years you're making believe? There is Lucita the painter, there is Lucita the photographer, there is Lucita the writer, the poet, the diarist, there is Lucita the activist, there is also, uh, of course, Lucita the uh, témoin, the testimony. She is an extraordinary testimony of the 20th and 21st century. She early on was very engaged with ecology. From the very beginning, she was interested in, uh, in ecosystems. She was interested in life. I want my granddaughter's children to enjoy uh, the world as I lived it. I like to, you know, be with nature in every way I possibly can. It's the only solution we have because we are, we are a species. So I'm shouting now. When I paint air, water, I mean it, earth, fire, the four elements. Uh, it's that simple. Lucita told us that she has a responsibility to the planet, that she has a responsibility to the earth. And that's very much also what this exhibition is about. And I think in that sense, it's also a wake up call because I think for all visitors, it will make clear that we all have a responsibility. So, you know, it breaks indifference. It will wake people up. So uh, forever Luchita. <laughs>